Hey YouTube friends, Survival Craft here. This is a review of the Thrunite TI-5T. The T stands for titanium, and this is a titanium alloy bodied pen light, which means that number one, they can get it really polished. So if you're a professional and you're looking for a small pen light, this would be really good because it's very polished, very professional and sleek looking. But also, because it is titanium alloy, it's resistant to corrosion. So if you deal with a lot of water, especially if you're around salt water, and you need a small pen light, then this is definitely a light to look into. Now the other items on this table are for size comparison. Down here closest to me is the Leatherman Juice S2. On the far end is a cross pin. And then right here in the middle, we have a Thrunite TI-4 and a Thrunite TI-3, both of which are also AAA powered flashlights. Now, the TI-3 is a little bit smaller and a slight bit cheaper than the Thrunite TI-5T, but in stepping up, you get a lot of functionality. First, the TI-3 turns on using the, the twist bezel method. And so it's not as easy to use with one hand, whereas by stepping up, you get with the Thrunite TI-5T a push button. Now this push button is, uh, is superior even to the TI-4's push button in that it has a momentary on feature. You don't have to click it all the way down. You can be silent with it and move through the three settings up to the highest and then do that over again to get to the hidden strobe if you want to. You don't have to click it every time. Whereas with the TI-4T, you have to click it every single time on and off to switch modes. The TI-5T has a momentary on. Next, by stepping up from the TI-3 to the TI-5T, you get a non-removable pocket clip. Now it is nice that the TI-3 can have its pocket clip reversed so that you can put it on the brim of a hat, but it does pop off decently easy. So with the non-removable one on the Thrunite TI-5, you don't ever have to worry about losing your pocket clip. Now before I move on and deal with a few issues about the Thrunite TI-5T, I do want to mention that there are some things I really like about this flashlight. Uh, number one, it is very sleek and polished, so if you want to keep a professional look, this is a great light to carry. The only problem is, is that it is easy to scratch, so you have to keep it away from keys, away from your knife in your pocket, things like that. You need to keep it in a designated area that'll stay away from other metal objects. If you do that, it'll stay polished. Uh, I did that for the first few days and then eventually I got lackadaisical and just threw it in my pocket. And it did end up getting scratched quite a bit. I don't care, but some of you out there might. Back to the momentary on feature, I do like that it has that. Uh, the TI-4 does not, several of the other through night pen lights do not, and pen lights from a lot of other companies also don't. So the fact that this now has a momentary on is excellent. That's one of the things I always look for in a, a larger flashlight, so now to have it in one of my pen lights is excellent. Finally, it's worth mentioning more as a side note because it doesn't apply directly to this flashlight alone. Through Night is now giving a two-year replacement warranty. So if you buy one of their flashlights and have a problem with it within two years, then they will replace it. And that's excellent because I dealt with a flashlight company about six months back about a flashlight that I would bought three months earlier and it had broken of its own accord. I barely used it. And I called the company and they pretty much told me to go away. They weren't interested in giving me a replacement. Uh, Through Night won't do that to you. So you can buy these with confidence and don't forget to save the receipt so that you can prove that you bought it within that two year period. Now there are two things about this flashlight that I didn't like that I want to address. One is more superficial, one is more substantive. 
The superficial one is that the pocket clip is not polished to the same extent as the body of the flashlight. The pocket clip is more stonewashed while the body is more vibrantly polished. Now most people won't even notice that. Uh, but for those of you who are very anal like I am, then you might notice the difference. Finally, the more substantive critique is that the Firefly mode on the TI-5T, which is marked at 0.8 lumens, is dimmer than that on the Thru-Night TI-4 and the Thru-Night TI-3, which are marked at 0.3 and 0.4 lumens respectively. So technically, the TI-5T should have a higher lumen count in the Firefly mode, but in, in practical use, it does not. In fact, it is so dim that it's worthless. Uh, I allowed my eyes to adjust in my room, and I tried to navigate my room with just the Firefly mode on. I could not see anything. I couldn't see the ground. So I then decided, while my eyes were still adjusted to the dark, to try to read. And I could read with the, the Firefly mode, but I had to press the flashlight to the page to practically to get it, you know, to be able to see anything. Uh, there was no projection of light. And then finally I decided to test my brother's uh, pupils to see if it reacted to the light after his eyes had been adjusted to the dark and there was no noticeable uh, difference in his pupils. Now, to make sure that that wasn't just the batteries, I tried four different brands, all of which were fully charged, and there was no difference. So, if you're going to use this flashlight, I recommend that you use it in its low mode, which is actually what I'm used to. The, not having the Firefly doesn't bother me very much, because I never use it. I don't like it. I like the low mode, so I'm used to switching it twice to get to the low mode. Uh, but for those of you who are buying this specifically for the Firefly, I suggest looking at uh, different offerings by Through Night. Now, despite those critiques, I still highly recommend that you buy this flashlight. It's got a lot of good things going for it. It's made of titanium alloy, which means it's fairly lightweight. It can be polished to sexiness, and it's corrosion resistant. Plus, on the high mode, it puts out 130 lumens, which is excellent for a AAA pen light. And because it only takes a single AAA flashlight, it's very small and very lightweight. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that this flashlight is not battery sensitive like my other through night flashlights. It will use Rayovac rechargeables. The TI3 and TI4 did not work with those. It was flickering like crazy and it would die randomly. Uh, the Rayovacs though work in the TI5T. That's what I have in it now. So I definitely recommend this to anyone looking for a small professional looking pen light at a really decent price. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, gripes, complaints, please put them in the comment section below and I'll try to respond to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, please share, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.